Hey guys, I'll be here. It's time to begin with the scrambler project and first thing on the list is the leaky oil seal. So enough with the chit chat, let's get on it. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove the fender and uh, the, the protector for the front fork over here. We have a four millimeter uh, Allen key and we're gonna just go down and uh, remove those bolts over here. This one, this one, and those two in the back. And then we're gonna go on the other side and do the same thing for the other side. As you guys can see, there is some thread lock on the bolts, so we need to remember that. So let's get a clean rag and start cleaning all those parts that are covered in oil, so that when, uh, when we're ready to put it all back together, we just need to pick them up and uh, toss it on the bike. Here we go. So now that the bike uh, is secure, I put a, a, a jack under the, under the engine to make sure that the bike doesn't fall forward. I can go ahead and remove uh, the, the front wheel. I'm just going to loosen those up. I'm not gonna remove them all together, as well as this side. So 26 millimeter nut, and now we just need to slide the axle up. Literally, this is that. In the spirit of doing it all, let's take off the spacer and let's slide the wheel out. So now the, the weight is being distributed between here, here, and the rear wheel. So nothing is under uh, major stress. So it's time to start working on uh, the fork itself. Okay, so first thing to do <coughs> before we undo uh, the fork itself is to loosen up the top bolt. I'm not going to take it off altogether, I'm just going to loosen it up so when I remove the fork I don't have to clamp it in a vise. Once that's done, we're going to use a 6 mm X key and loosen up those bolts. Now at this point, we can slide the fork out. And the fork is out. Now it's time to remove the top part altogether and dump out all the oil. Here we go. So at this point we're gonna remove uh, the fork plug and detach the damper rod assembly. I'm not sure if you guys can see, there is a little nut over here. So we're gonna hold that nut and turn this to remove the fork plug altogether.
keep turning this and take it apart. Here we go. One. And let's put it in order so that I can put it together properly. So let's pop the dust cap over here. Get a little screwdriver and pry it off. Now, do not apply force on the fork itself. Yeah. And you pop it. So once you pop the, the dust cap, inside here there is a little retainer ring. So we gotta get the retainer ring out. And the ring is out. So we have the dust cap, the ring, and next to go is the actual oil seal uh, itself. Let's remove uh, the ring, taking care that, that the ring does not scratches the fork. And now with not so gentle movement, there you go, we're gonna remove uh, the seal itself. First thing to remove is this retainer ring over here. A little bigger screwdriver. In. There you go. Once you have it over like that, you don't want to scratch the fork, so you pry it apart a little bit. Here we go. And this is one. Then we get this spacer, then we get this washer, and finally the oil seal itself. And at the very end, we can finally slide out the dust cap. Now this is a kit that cost around 70 bucks. It's from Ducati itself, so I'm gonna keep the other dust cap and the other uh, seal aside just in case the other fork decides to go. You have the dust cap up front, then you have the retainer ring, then you have the new fork seal, and then you have the washer, the spacer, and the retaining ring. Time to put everything back together, but before we do that, uh, I'm gonna put some electrical tape on those sharp edges up here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is take a piece of uh, plastic, like this. Which I'm going to lubricate with some pork oil. And I'm going to use this piece of plastic to help slide <clears throat> the seal across the fork. Without damaging neither the fork or the seal itself. So, we can put the dust cover in. Now we can put the new oil seal in. Now, at this point we need to pay attention that the new oil seal has the spring facing forward. So, down. Gonna lubricate it a bit. And in it goes. 
Now the retainer ring doesn't have to go in right away. You can pop it in later, and I don't want this thing rattling around, so I'll put in, uh, I'll put it in as last, as you guys can see. Everything slides down without force and without uh, leaving any marks anywhere. At this point, we put. that back in the spacer once that's done I can actually remove uh, the piece of plastic here we go we can actually remove the tape and put our retainer ring back in position. Here we go. Okay, at this point we can put our sleeve back in. I'm gonna apply a little bit of oil around our seal. I'm going to grab my seal pusher tool and a little more. I believe it's firmly in place. It's time to put our uh, little clip back in. Same as before. Make sure not to scratch the fork. Okay, clicked in place. So, at this point, yep, the fork is not going to come apart. We can set the dust cap back in, nice and even, and the fork seal is replaced. So at this point we need to pour 427 cc's of oil. According to Ducati there is no way of checking the oil level inside the fork once the fork is put back together so they give you a very specific amount of cc's that need to go back in. So get a measuring cup or a syringe and uh, let's put the oil back on the fork. Obviously make sure that whatever you use it's actually clean. So I'm going to start with 400 cc's in here. Let's make sure this is on an even surface. So I'll go measure it, I'll be back. Okay, so we have exactly 400 in this cup and we have another 27 cc's in this syringe. So let's pour them in. At this point the oil is in, time to put the spring back in, the preload tube back in and uh, we're done. So the spring on the scrambler it's a little tight, tighter up here than down here. So the diameter is different. The wider part of the spring goes on the bottom, the, the tighter part of the spring goes up top because the preload tube goes right on it. So. Let's 
Spring is in. Let's move the rod up and down a few times so that the fluid goes everywhere. Preload tube. And the fork cap. So the first few twist of the thread, it goes in just easy as that. Once we get closer to the nut, it's going to get harder to do, so we got to get our 14 millimeter, put it on it, now get our 17 millimeter, and tie it. So at this point the only thing left to do is clean my hands and put the sleeve back up and start tying it. This should be nice and easy, shouldn't be uh, too forceful. So that's it. Now what I'm gonna do is install the fork back on the bike and then tie this one a little more. And now let's put it even with the other side. Okay, and let's give it a preliminary tie to avoid the fork from sliding back down. Let's put uh, the wheel back on. Axle rod going back in, spacer going back in, the rest of it going back in. Axle nut. Okay, it's time to put the bolts back in. So let's start with uh, the, the fork leg protector over here. Remember to put just a little bit of thread lock on them. So we are done with the installation of the fork seal. It was a little more complicated than what I usually do here in the shop, so I'm going to give it a two to three wrenches on a scale of three. Now, I didn't give you, on purpose, I didn't give you any torque numbers for the pinch bolts. That's just because through my researches on the internet and looking over the maintenance manual, those are very confusing number. If you look on the internet, every page has a wildly different guess uh, at uh, the torque value for those pinch bolts. What I was able to find is 25 foot pound for, uh, for the mid pinch bolts, 17 foot pound for the torque, but please double check those numbers. When it comes to uh, those bolts over here, six foot pound and eight foot pound for the back, and when it comes to the pinch bolts for the axle, uh, I was able to find 15 foot pound for them. Now the only uh, torque value I can give you with a certainty because it was plain 
uh, written down on the maintenance manual is the 46 foot pound for the axle nut but uh, it's always better to double check and uh, if you guys have time as always go to my website www.albezadv.com if you like the video like if you love the video or you want to see what else is going to happen to the scrambler next subscribe in the meantime dirt on and i'll see you next time